Silver Birch is my next in line for my individual series of videos about what we can do with different plants and trees and things we find. And I will include <coughs> skin and rabbits and the whole nine yards, dressing game, cooking game, you know, in a survival situation, in a wild situation. But I'm going to look at the silver birch today and really if we look at, if I move back and don't get the sun on the camera, we look at the leaf, it's not so identifiable as, uh, you know, alder and, and other things look like that. But what we're trying to do is take the young leaf. It's too late in the year now to take the leaf. Sorry about the movement of the camera. Um, we really want to hit early, uh, late spring, early summer. <clears throat> but what we can do is we can take the leaves, we can put them in a jar, pour some oil so they're covered and stir occasionally for a month, just making sure they're covered, uh, in a light place. And what happens is the, the oil is extracted from the birch. So we get birch oil in the um, mixture. And we've now got a, an oil that we can use as a massage oil for a variety of things, arthritis, but one, you know, muscle pain, um, eczema, you know, um, lots of things. We'll go into it. I'll not uh, be in depth on this first part of this video. But we can see the... Uh, we know about the bark because, you know, or rather most of us in survival, for anybody who's sort of getting into it, the bark can be used for a multitude of things and it's been a blessing for thousands of years, especially in North America. The, the bark can be made into paper, canoes, we can weave the thing into baskets, we can make glue, um, we can boil the sap down or we can drink it straight. It's a lovely refreshing spring drink and it's packed with all sorts of good things which we'll go into. But it's a very, very useful tree besides the fact that we can just light fires with it because it does light uh, tinder excellently. Um, I will go out of the wind and do, do the other bits but what I'm going to do is show you how we can use certain areas what we can do with the leaves how we can extract the oil and use the oil how we can take the again the early leaves bear in mind we can keep that oil indefinitely in our medicine area we also can take the young leaves which to be honest there's none on it now it is late late lightening in the summer but we can take the young leaves gather them in quant large quantities, dry them out, which we'll go into again, dry them out into a tea, you know, that's what we're trying to achieve, crumple them up, dried leaves, make a, a, a tea leaf with them, and then we'll drink them as a tea, which is very good, again, for gout, um, it's a cure for, for, for all sorts of stuff, uh, urine, urinary gravel, all sorts of stuff, we've got it, but anyway, Let's uh, let's expand on it and make the most that we can out of this. Trend. One of the things we can do with the leaf is we can <coughs> fill a jar, pack it down a bit, okay, fill the jar, and then, excuse me, cover with olive oil or a sweet oil. I haven't got enough oil here, I've got some in the house, but fill it to the top. Fill it right to the top, cover the leaves, <clears throat> and then periodically, once every couple of days, just make sure the leaves are covered. And we're going to leave it in that jar for a couple of months, no, sorry, a month. Um, and then strain off the oil, and that's what we can use that rub for, which we'll, we'll go into on the desk. Um, the very juices. One thing I want to mention is when you're taking the labels off the jars you get a couple of shots, you put it under the water and you can peel off the shiny bit as a rule. Leave the, leave the paper bit on, you can write on that in the wild, you know in a survival situation, dip it in the stream 
<coughs> peel back the label, but leave this to dry because you can you, you can mark up what you've got in here. Because once you've got a few jars of medicines and, and rubs and so on and so forth, then <coughs> you need to identify them. You can have these lying around your bug out area, your camp, or whatever. But then and simply, as I say, put the lid on and leave in the light somewhere for a month. Mark it up, strain the oil, and then we'll go into the next phases upstairs at the desk. Okay, we've we've stood the oil down for a month <coughs> in the light, and what we do next is after the month of stirring and keeping the leaves under the under the virgin olive oil or olive oil or whatever you can get your hands on, <coughs> we can then uh, strain off the oil in a muslin cloth or whatever. Um, be careful what you do use because it will absorb, absorb a lot of the oil if you use a rag or something like that. So strainer of some description, fine strainer. And then we can let it settle in violet bottles or green bottles is what we want to use for the next stage. We put it into that. It then can be applied on the skin as a massage for rheumatism, muscle aches and various other complaints and it does work, you know, it does work. You know you get a sprain or, or something you want to do, that's the one you you pull your arm, you, you massage it on and that's what we use the oil for. You know, as I say, if you leave it, um, if you leave the oil to settle, don't, don't put a solid lid on the jar, put a, a, a rubber band and a piece of cloth to let the moisture evaporate um, out of the jar as it settles down for that month you <clears throat> then can later on, once you've decanted it into your violet jars, green bottles or whatever you're going to use, you can then let it settle and the water will settle and you can then siphon off the pure oil because you, you don't want the water in, that does no good to you, um, or it's a drink. But anyway, that's um, birch sap, uh, sorry, that's birch oil, how we get it, from the leaf, recap, from the leaf, leaf in the jar, cover with olive oil, or a vegetable oil, completely covered, stir it for a month in a clear jar in a sunny place, you can put it in a sunny place, I said uh, uh, not bright like but you can, muslin cloth on top, rubber band hold it in place, let the moisture off, decant it after a month, let it settle again, decant into violet bottles, cut bottles that won't affect ultra, ultraviolet light in, uh, let the water settle, siphon off the oil or pour off the oil, whatever you want, Use it for a massage for all sorts of stuff, but aches and pains really, and arthritis and rheumatism. Good one. The oil now is been soaking in olive oil in this instance for over a month actually, and uh, you just see that the is a mild change of colour in in the leaves, but it's this oil we're after. So I'm going to strain this off and <coughs> put the oil back in the jar, but anyway, let's strain it off first. I'll take a glass jar, or anything, to strain it into. I need a strainer. I'll simply what I'm going to do, see that? Let's do the Jamie Oliver. Strain the ingredients. It'll take some time. Now bear in mind, these leaves are covered in oil. And they're very good for fire lighting. <laughs> and probably other things. So that's uh, stuff out of there. Please forgive the change of clothes throughout this video. I've done this over a period of time in different seasons. Anyway, got that. As I say, we can use that. Got this brown or oil now. Should go back in there, no problem. And 
Now we can cap it. Simple as that. Anyway, there's the rubbing oil, because that's what we're going to use this for. But I'm going to go, I'll not go into the benefits of this, I'll go into the benefit of everything at the end of this video. Thank you.